Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. Back with a video on software defined radio. Uh, this video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, I just wanted to show you how you can compile out of tree module in your GNU radio companion. So let's just quickly look at your GNU radio companion. Uh, by, so I'm using Dragon OS Focal. Uh, this comes with pre-compiled tools. Uh, so this is the website. You can go ahead and look at it. Uh, I have an older version of this, but this is the newer version, newer release uh, that comes with a lot of different tools which are there for your uh, software-defined radio needs. Uh, in this, if you go ahead and look at it, uh, the tools that are available which are related to GNU Radio, they are called GR. These are all the one with the GRs in front of it. These are all out of tree modules. These are the modules which were designed by someone and they were posted on GitHub, and then you can download the code and you can compile it, and they will become part of your GNU Radio Companion. And where do you see them? Right here. Uh, so you have these core modules that you see over here in your GNU Radio. Uh, so these are the ones like AI Simulator, AOA, Blade RF. Beside these core modules, if I close this, all of these other modules that you're seeing right now, like for example, Sandia, RDS, Paint, Osmo, SDR, NTSC, and all of these different modules, they were actually by different people. And you can compile them and you can make them part of the module. So I'm going to walk you through how you can actually grab your out of tree modules and how you can make them part of your GNU Radio. So this is the basic idea regarding this tutorial is because when I was about to, when I was learning this, this is the trouble that I was having. How can I compile these modules uh, into GNU Radio and make them part of my GNU Radio companion software? Uh, so the module that we want to look at, that I want to compile, it's not part of my GNU Radio right now. It's called GR Radar. Uh, it's a, it's a GNU Radio out of tree module uh, with uh, uh, some radar boxes that someone has made. So I'm going to walk you through those. So right now, as you can see, clearly it's not there. And we're going to compile it together. And, and we'll make this part of GNU Radio. So the first thing you need to do, uh, just simply, I want to go to GitHub. And GR, it's called GR Radar. It has all the modules related to GR uh, Radar system. So simply just click on this. You will, it will take you to your GitHub page, and I'm going to walk you through how you can compile this together. So simply copy this. Most of the time, uh, all the instructions that you need to compile, they are just written here. Uh, but uh, this is how I normally do it. So if it's not there, these are the steps you need to follow. It's actually there. So git clone this, go to this, make directory, build, see, make, make, and boom, you're good to go. So I'm going to walk you through this, how you can compile these out of three modules, uh, out of three modules, out of three modules into your GNU Radio Companion. Uh, so I'm going to open up my terminal. So normally GNU Radio Companion, I'll, I'll show you, I think I've showed you before this, uh, all of these softwares that you see on your Dragon OS Focal, it's an user source folder. So if I ls this, all the tools you have, GNU Radio Companion, GQRX, everything, and some other modules, which are also part of your GNU Radio Companion, which are which are which starts with GR. So all of these modules, and I want to I want to I want to compile it for you, GR Radar. I'm not going to compile it in my user source folder. I'm just going to show you how you can actually do it. So I'm going to CD it, and right now I'm in a general folder like CD this tilde symbol. So I'm in a main folder right now. So the first thing, just copy this code. I'm just going to simply copy this and I'm going to go here and I'm going to cop uh, right click on it paste clipboard in front of it just simply type in git clone all right this is only valid for like uh, linux based machines uh, you can also use it on i think uh, on mac os as well similar process git clone it the cool thing about uh, having a linux machine is you can compile this uh, i haven't tried it in windows modules uh, in Windows to compile these out of three modules, simply ls it. So basically, what you have done, you have just downloaded that folder, go to cd gr radar. So you are already inside this folder. The next step you need to do, you need to build the directory called build. You need to build the directory called build. So you, you can type in a command called mkdir make directory that has a name called build. 
So once it's make this build directory, ls it, and you will see a folder right here, that a folder that is a directory that call build. CD into it, which means go into that folder, CD build. Once you are in this build folder, now the command that you need to run is actually a cmake command. So cmake period period forward slash hit enter. Whenever you are compiling these out of three modules, these are the steps you need to take. All right, we're going to wait for it. All right, so once this CMake is done, there is no error. Right now, I'm not seeing any error. Simply type in make. This is another command that you need to type next. Make sure you are in a CD build folder. If you're not in a build folder, then you will have problem. You won't be able to do it. So we're going to wait for all of these boxes that someone has made for us. It will get compiled in a form of a GR radar so it, you will see it right here it will be part of your GNU radio companion since I'm gonna close this uh, and when we're gonna wait for it to compile so this is a handy way to actually use someone else's uh, work that they have done and you can like uh, do an improvement because this radar toolbox is, is, is a very good toolbox uh, that I have used several times. I think I'll, I'll in future I'll make some videos on it as well. You will also, once you download these uh, out of free modules, you will also have examples as well. So for example, if you go into an example folders, you will have some GRC files that you can actually look at it. For example, it has a simulation file, uh, files that are with respect to test. Uh, you can use it with uh, USRP and things like that. It has a simulator of FMCW radar, simulator of FMCW RCS GRC, and things like that, simulator of FSK. So most of the work people have done it. So basically, if you want to make your own radar, you can use these boxes, which will be available to you in your GNU Radio Companion to do future work. Uh, so that's the that's the basic idea regarding these R O three modules. Uh, you can also Google the list of it. Uh, I kind of like Dragon OS Focal because all the tools that Dragon Focal OS comes with, you will see a list. But if you don't see it here, you can always go ahead and and go to their GitHub repository, and then you can you can like compile them together. So uh, I don't have this version, and and I recommend people instead of like you know installing Ubuntu or some other Linux distribution and then compiling these tools individually, I recommend people to actually uh, download Dragon OS Focal and that comes pre-compiled with all the tools that you need. Like for example, what I'm doing right now. So it has most of the things that I need, but if you need something else, like for example, I had a need of a GR, GR radar, I'm compiling it right now and I'm making that part of my GNU radio uh, uh, GNU Radio software. So that's that's the beauty of it. Uh, so this is uh, because it takes care of a lot of repositories that you need uh, because sometimes uh, you will have trouble like you know downloading the repository sometimes something is not up to date you have to actually compile it again and again and again. So this is like the fastest way you can actually compile these modules. Um, in, in, in GNU Radio Companion or any tools that you need because uh, what because people have actually uh, the person who has actually uh, uh, who has compiled this together uh, he has done an amazing job so let's, let me just go back and look at it 74 percent and we're gonna wait for it to compile normally it does take about this long uh, so we're almost done now and let me just walk you through with the next process. All right. So now what I'm going to do, the next command that you need to run is called sudo make install. Uh, this is going to be much faster compilation. And just simply type in sudo ld config. And once we're done, now I'm going to show you uh, by opening my GNU Radio Companion that you will see a module called GR Radar, which is already part of it. So it's just going to simply go in and go to GNU Radio. It's right here. All right. So now this is our GNU Radio. 
and let's look at our module which is called GR radar it should be here I hope so yeah here we go so we have now we have compiled an out of tree module which is called radar and all the boxes are there which means your estimator boxes you will might have different estimator boxes you have generators GUIs radar tools everything that you need is there the next thing you can do is simply this you can also look at these examples as well so by simply going CD into the last folder I can go to an examples folder and I'm gonna ls it and I'm gonna go into that simulation folder simulation ls it and now I have all the GRC files which are there so I'm gonna sudo chmod I'm gonna make them executable I'm gonna make the top file executable a plus x uh, simulator uh, CW continuous wave radar GRC it will turn into green so it's ready to fire up uh, the next step since it's a GRC file you want to run it from your terminal a file that is a GRC file you can just simply type in GNU radio companion uh, companion and type in that file name simulator CW and boom so you can also execute your GNU radio flow graph using this as well now if you didn't have this GR folder compile you have to do it everything by yourself now all the blocks that you need they were not part of your GNU radio originally but now they have become part of your GNU radio companion under radar out of free module which is right here right here so so this is this is how you can run your demos and things like that simulation and you can check and see so let's just run this um, I'm not seeing any error so let's see what else do I get to see do I have any time sinks or anything like that here we go I have a GUI sync here we go so here's a basic demo of your continuous wave radar simulator uh, you're seeing different effects uh, you can change the velocity of this you can look at the waterfall graph you can look at the time domain graph you can look at a constellation graph so this is a good way or a starting point a good starting point for like you know working with radars trying to understand radars and trying to make different type of radars using GNU radio companion and your GR radar out of free module so I hope you like this small tutorial on uh, on this how you can compile this uh, radar uh, GR radar into your GNU radio if you have any questions uh, leave it in a comment section and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching